Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for taking a peek. Um, today I'm going to be building the Contra 40% uh, keyboard. It's pretty exciting. This is my second build ever um, and actually my first video on the channel. So, so really excited. So a couple things I've been working with today. Um, one, I'm going to just promote a little bit of safety. So making sure that you have gloves and uh, glasses on while you're soldering. Um, you need soldering iron, obviously solder. We end up soldering uh, diodes, switches, a couple of the pieces too. So just want to call that out. Call a little safety there first. Um, I have the Contra 40% kit. Um, comes with all the pieces that you need for the most part. Um, pretty cheap kit. It's like about 20 bucks in the U.S. Uh, I've Gatoron uh, KS9 switches, really, really nice switches. Those are pretty cheap as well. Um, I went for like a retro theme with this, so like an 80s retro theme, and those those keep that key set was pretty cheap too, like about 40 bucks. And then the micro controller that I'm using is the Pro Micro, uh, really great controller. I will say, if you do buy the kit from um, KBD Keys, uh, I would buy them a controller somewhere else. The the controller there, I think it's like 20 bucks. If you buy it from Marcuccio, actually, who makes the MechWild, another 40% that I built, um, theirs are about half the price. They're about 10, 11 bucks for the USB-C version. I ended up buying three of them just so I had some on hand because I'm anticipating, um, you know, the chip shortage that continue being an issue. So let's get into it and we'll uh, start in the build and, and see what we come up with. All right, and we're back. All done. Uh, it took about an hour, hour and a half to oh, camera focus there. Um, get it all finished. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I love the '80s look. It's it's really tiny. Um, like really tiny. I think this is maybe like I don't know. I'm gonna say like three inches, four inches by maybe like nine, nine and a half somewhere around there. Um, yeah. So pretty excited. One question. Uh, someone already asked me, and this is like extremely normal. Um, if you don't have a case, I'm gonna see if I can catch you on the camera here. Um, yeah. You see how they like the end of the controller is sticking out. That is 
totally by design. Um, that's just how it's set up. So there's nothing wrong there. Um, yeah, so flashing, it's actually pretty easy, pretty straightforward. This isn't the build guide, so I did just want to go over this really quickly. Um, so when you're ready to flash it, after you plug everything in, you should plug um, troller in. You get a little red light that comes on. And uh, I'm actually going to pull up terminal here so that everybody can see what I'm doing. Um, so you plug it in, uh, you pull up terminal. I already have the QMK flash command ready for this. Um, and I made a couple of edits to my own um, uh, firmware that I for, for QMK that I wanted to use. So I made my own my own key map. Um, same process for QMK toolbox. So plug the keyboard in, um, choose, your, choose your key map. So when I hit QMK flash, when I actually run the command, um, it's gonna start and then if you take a look what's going to happen is it's going to say uh, uh, essentially waiting for USB serial port. All it wants you to do is reset your controller. So if you go to the bottom of the keyboard, hit the reset button, um, just wait a second. Your, your controller should flash a little bit. Uh, then you should notice either whether you use uh, terminal or a QMK toolbox, you should notice that they, they respond um, here and install the firmware, give you a thank you message and uh, it's ready to go. So you're off to the races. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like, please uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Um, comments are definitely welcome below, and I'll see you on the next one.